SA Crypto, South Africa's largest blockchain community and news outlet. Welcome to this edition of the SA Crypto video podcast. It's Blockchain Africa 2019, the Cape Town edition. And with me, I'm really privileged to have Premier of the Western Cape, Helen Ziller. Premier, thank you for joining us and thank giving you. us the time. Thank you, James. And I think mostly thank you for devoting your time to such an innovative technology such as blockchain. Um, Premier Zilla, how, how did you come across blockchain and what is it that attracted you to come and give of your time and energy to this conference? Well, my first encounter with blockchain was one of the vehicles on the blockchain road, which is Bitcoin, of course. And I was fascinated by the concept of Bitcoin, didn't understand it, did some reading about it, and then understood that it was actually only one mechanism using a much broader road or technology called the blockchain. And that began to absolutely fascinate me, and I started reading more and more about the blockchain. I now understand what its whole purpose is, where it comes from, and how many applications it's got, and how we really need to get ahead of creating a facilitative regulatory framework in government. So I have spent quite a bit of time reading about it. So obviously uh, provincial and national government are, are different and you as a Western Cape government seem very progressive and welcoming to blockchain technology. Uh, how much can uh, provincial government here in the Western Cape do before its progression and invitation to incubating the technology uh, gets limited by national government. Is there a lot of opportunity still for, prov for the province? Yes, uh, that's a very good question. And it's something that you always have to look at. Now, I find the best way to approach the blockchain concept is to look at its various applications. And then to look at its applications in a sphere that provincial government has jurisdiction over. Now, blockchain technology is something that is going to have to be universally accepted to really become mainstream. But that doesn't mean to say that one can't start locally. And the best way to start is by looking at applications that are compatible with that technology and starting to experiment with them and try them out. Now, for example, a land registry would be very useful to have on the blockchain because it is completely foolproof against manipulation and corruption, which we have seen quite a lot of in our central land registry. And that is certainly one area where I think it would be possible to start from the bottom up in putting a land register onto blockchain. It will change the way things are done, but it is manageable in the systems that human beings run to make that switch. It would be far more challenging, for example, to put every court order against a maintenance defaulter onto the blockchain and link it with a person's banking account to ensure that they paid maintenance before they could spend anything else from their salary. That would be a highly complex application. And more uh, 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 on the national level framework. Well, not really. I mean, it goes into the banking system. It goes right. into all sorts of things. So my um, proposal would be to start the things that government controls and to start things that local and provincial government more controls and to try and find beginner applications that then have more and more implications going forward. So I've got to still think a lot about those applications. We could certainly use them for our health records in the province in which you have a block per patient with all of their information on a block which is untamperable with and the block gets updated every single time by a new block that person is seen or has a different treatment or whatever that is and it gives a, a long blockchain you could create a block for every student coming into the system as well and follow them through the system in that way so yes there are many ways in which it is applicable to local and provincial government I've just got to find one or two that we can use in a sandbox approach which is an experimental approach to see what is possible and how we would manage that change. Because change management in government is always very, very difficult. Probably the hard, hardest part of your job. Hardest part. Premier Helen, thank you so much for your time. We know that uh, you have to move on to the next thing. And we really 
from on behalf of the community, we want to say thank you for your progressive approach to this technology and all the best. It's a great idea and I really wish you all the very, very best. We, we must be on the cutting edge of this. Absolutely. Thanks so much, folks. And that's, uh, that's it for this edition of the SA Crypto video podcast. SA Crypto, South Africa's largest blockchain community and news outlet.